Hey everyone, how's it going? It's good to see you again today. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon. In today's episode, we're heading on to the festival. Oh wow, whoa, you can actually see a Pokemon walking around. I do really like the additions they've made to this game. Like, it's like, it's the old game, but with new, like, extra juice, I guess. And I like that a lot. The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon Guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Can I also mention it doesn't feel as hand-holdy as the last game as well, so I like that a lot. I don't know what it is, because they have been holding my hand, but it feels less hand-holdy. Oh, how's it, Chaot? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Rowlet has been have been waiting for ages. Who? <laughs> oh, cute. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Oh, cute. <laughs> A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So, you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt, but I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Chaot. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Yeah, just like every other time everyone else heals my Pokemon. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, sorry, that I read that as how, but it was how uh, talking. <laughs> so let's begin. All right, let's battle. Ooh, that beautiful 2D fire. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection, for them and all Melee Melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our guardian's deity, our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Look at Executor on the right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Before you stands Hao, grandson to the Kahuna. Let's have fun with this, Rowlet. No, let's fight to the death. Before him stands Chaot, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Yo, it's me, suckers! I'm ready to take down How. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Huh, that's just typical of it. Linen, take care of my little Chaot! As long as we have both as long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, huh? Chaot, how bring forth the power of your Pokemon. I just walk up to him and suck him in the face. What pow? You mad yet, brother? You mad? <laughs> Man, I wish. Oh, he has a Pichu too. Oh, I guess it's a good thing we didn't get our Pichu, huh? Well, since you're using Pichu, maybe I should use Buneary. But that's level six. Never mind. Forget that. All right. Uh, let's just use Lick. Let's try and paralyze it. Lick. Here we go. Uh, get paralyzed, sucker. Oh. You didn't. Well, Lick does a lot more damage than it used to. I remember back in the day, it used to only do like 1 HP of damage ever to any Pokemon you would face. The game sure changed, man. This game is different. Anyway, Pichu's using Thundershock! Oh god! Stab damage. Oi! And I'm paralyzed. Of course, I'm the one who gets paralyzed. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Oh god, I ate too much before recording this. I haven't been talking properly. And I have the burps. It's Burp City, as Jimmy Swift says. Anyway, Pichu, nice work. You did a good job, but you're dead. Fireball gained 40 XP points and leveled up. Nice. Level 9. Sweet. Our right, HP went up a lot. Huh. Cool. Pokemon Trainer Howe is about to send him Rowlet. I will keep my Pokemon. Why not? All right, Rowlet. You ready to get Rowlet? Let's go. Emperor. Tackle, come on. Man, this game is so slow, can I just say that? And I'm paralyzed, ah, oh, just to make matters worse. You better kill Rowlet in one shot, boy. Oh, that's not gonna do much damage at all. Okay, it kinda did. 
Ember! That's right! Okay, one more Ember and he should be dead unless I get paralyzed, which would suck. Leafage, that shouldn't kill us. Leave us with the red HP, yep. Ember, here we go. And dead, nice work. It was a good battle, two against one. Oh hey, I can care for my Linen, let's do that. What, it's already over? Yep, sure is, sucker. Please get mad. I just want him to continuously get madder and madder and madder throughout every single battle that we do. Uh, do we use this? No? That's weird because you'd think that would help you. Oh, I have to use this, don't I? Oh man. You'd think the sock or the scarf would help you because it absorbs the electricity. Am I the only one that thinks that? Probably. Anyway, there we go. And I might as well give you one of these. Here, take a red one. Num, num, num. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Do you want another one? Just one more? I don't want to waste everyone's time, but this is the first time we've done this in the game. I generally do this off camera because I hate wasting people's time. Uh, so, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna leave now. Oh wait, hang on. Just before, though, I wanna see how Baneri looks in this, because I've never seen a Baneri in this version of the game. Aw, oh, look, she's so cute! Hey! Where do you like being pet the most? Your ears, huh? What about down anywhere else? Nope! Oh, whoa, that was good. Okay, well, I'm out of here. See ya! Ah, oh, Baneri is so cute! I can make an exception for Baneri. I know I said I wanted a Lolan Pokemon, but I've never seen Baneri before in this game. Uh, so yeah. Phew, that was awesome, Kaon! That was a really great battle! I had a blast fighting you! It was a good battle, with this even Tapu Koko. Oh, you heard it yourself! Tapu Koko's song of approval! Oh, I nearly forgot! I think it's time you take this, Kaon! Is it my stone you stole? It better be. Oh, there we go. Hey, it looks different. You slipped the Z power ring onto your wrist. It's black. Hey, I like it. It's a nice color for it. Your Z power ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Zing Z power, their Zing power. <laughs> Sorry. We Kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Though you will need to undergo the island challenge and collect Z crystals for yourself if you wish to draw forth Pokemon Z power. Oh, sorry. Uh, I read that so wrong. And yet you have only already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Uh, the island challenge? Four islands! You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the island challenge champion. Woo! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But I'll let Kahuna I Hala explain the details. The island challenge Kikui spoke of, it is a journey to overcome your own limitations as you travel the far corners of Alola and meet with others along the path. It is the great adventure that children in the Alola region embark upon, along with their Pokémon once they reach 11 years of age. Allow me to give you both the Island Challenge amulets you will need. Awesome! Thanks, Tutu! I'm gonna make it through the Island Challenge to try to become an Island, Ch Island Challenge Champion. Sorry, my dyslexia is through the roof today. There is one for you as well, Chaot. Please do give the Island Challenge a try. I guess I have no choice. Hey, it looks a little different, I feel like. I don't know, everything seems a little different. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. Can we stop cutting to you? You add nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Here we are. We're leaving, bye. Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Um... What did Tapu Koko do? Oh yeah, he saved us from falling to our certain death. Uh, oh yeah? You know, Chaot, it did save your life too, and it even gifted you that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Wow, sorry. <laughs> Suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Nebby, Alola is full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it?
Captain, I was able to detect high levels of aura at this full-powered festival. I suppose you would. According to our earlier research, it seems that the Z-Power Ring and this Tapu Koko creature are bathed in a great deal of light. Alola overflows with the light that was released by the Blinding One. I find myself rather envious. Oh, they should be British. I wonder if we can't find some way to use the great power that fills Alola for ourselves. That is precisely what we, the Ultra Recon Squad, are here to make clear. Onward, there is still so much of Alola we have not seen, and we must investigate it all. That wasn't British, but whatever, let's forget it. It's hard to do a robot British voice. Honey, I'm home! Uh, what are you saying? Who are you talking to? Oh, Kea, you're back already? I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town longer. Especially right after that great Pokemon battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his partner. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie. You get some sleep too. Alright, mom, good night. Sweet dreams, I guess. How to destroy chaos ears! Ouch. The next day. Whoa, we slept until night? What beautiful weather! I wonder what today will bring me. Someone's at the door? A visitor! If it's Kikui, he'll probably let himself in without waiting for us to open the door. Yeah, is he like that? Do you know him somehow? That's weird. Anyway, I guess we'll leave. Is it Kikui? Uh, who is it? Oh, it's Lily! Oh, um, the professor said... Hey there, Lily! Bring me that great new trainer! Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokémon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Kaot! Yo, what up? Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. I'm gonna buy all the clothes I can, girl. You don't even know. Oh, well done, Kaot. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Uh, me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. You're just gonna smile like a deranged serial killer? That was weird. Looks like it's finally ta your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with linen, and don't be gone too long. Uh, it's night time. <laughs> what the heck? Whatever. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, let's go. I just want to get to, what is it, Melee Melee City or something like that? Aki City, Akala City, Melee Mula, Tinga Tunga City, whatever. You can reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he is surrounded by Pokemon. Since I'm not a trainer though, I have to rely, rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? A and about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahunahala are other people, and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebi or what happened on that bridge, please? Oh, Kaot, do you want to know something neat? What is it? Oh, we can jump down those things, I guess you're gonna say? You can reach the Pokemon lab, blah, blah, going down there, just like this. Whoop! She breaks her leg. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's all over for me. Keep going. Get Kikui. Get Kikui. Whatever. <laughs> Can't even speak properly. Anyway, I'm going down here because I'm not going through all that grass. We're just gonna go here immediately. Oh, I forgot about this part. Oh yeah, Rockruff, let's go! Give it everything you've got! My body is ready! Woo! Ah, uh, there they go again! The Pokémon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. 
I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Whoa! The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I just washed his lab coat and finally got it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Okay, I guess we're going in. Your voice is very, like, it's not consistent at all. <laughs> oh, look at the little bear thing. I forgot what it's called. It's like a plushy bear. His coat isn't damaged at all, Lily. Are you, are you sure that's not in, indestructible or something? Hey there, Chaot. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Now pay me. <laughs> of course, however I can be of help, I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Chaot, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? There you go, dude. So what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, huh? Here, it finally arrived! It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking! See, there's this Pokémon inside your Pokédex called Rotom. Really? Oh, I could tell you about Rotom. It is a peculiar Pokémon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, and- oh, sorry. Yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body spe specially developed for it. A whole new way for Pokemon and people to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... Okay... Oh wow, he looks so cool in 3D model form. Hey now, sorry about that Rotom, guess I surprised you? Rotom, here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Chaot here a helping hand, yeah? I want actual Rotom. Can Rotom fight for me? Can I have that? That'd be awesome. Just have a Rotom Dex Pokemon in this game. Uh, hey there, a pleasure to meet you. I'm not nervous or anything, I think he said. Check it out, Chaot. Now Rotom can talk to you. It may take it a little while to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rotom's taken a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Chaot hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Uh, thank you very much. I guess. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Cool, I guess. Oh hey, it's Hal, our favorite loser. <laughs> oh god, hiccup, sorry. Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa ho What? What's happening? Oh, you like the digs? Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not! It's private! The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Chaot? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. Well, aren't you great? Uh, so Chaot, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Chaot, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, huh? It's kinda cute. Alright then, Chaot, you too, Hal. Get a move on. Uh, what? To the trainer's school. You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge champion. Uh, and the team... Sorry, the trailer's school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. The Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's the way that you adopt that you... What am I saying? And then there's the way that you and Linen both choose one another. Chose one another. And now with Rotom helping you out as well, even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're by your side. Lily, you take good care of Chaot, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. 
but then they just leave. Well, bye! <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna record more of this tomorrow when I'm not in such a funk with my reading. Uh, I just realized there's a slow poke back there that you can't see, but that's really cute. Oh, there he is! Look at him! Oh, cute! Anyway, thanks so much for watching and dealing with all of my terrible speaking. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, everyone! <laughs>